In order to take the height and weight, we'll ask a patient to stand on the scale. To take the height, we will lift this all the way up. Usually, we will have something over here. If not, you can just use a clipboard and put it right below this. Bring it down all the way to the head of the patient. And then, over here at the bottom, so, at the bottom you will get a number so right now it looks like it's between 70 and 71 and you have this chart right here so you can see 70 71 it's about you can say 5 feet 10 inches for the patient so in your chart you'll just write down for height just write down 5 10 inches and then you can transfer it later for weight We'll ask the patient to stand on the scale. Always make sure that their feet, both their feet are in the middle of the plate. And then you have, first you want to go through, uh, go through at the bottom and then figure out like, uh, put it on 100 or 150. If it's an older patient, what I usually like to do is look at their previous weight and then try to get the scale there so I'm not going through the whole thing. And you can kind of approximate initially. So we'll start with over 100 here, and then all the smaller digits are here. Whenever um, the scale is at the bottom over here, it means that the weight uh, I'm, I'm at a higher number uh, than their weight, and then if it's on, on the top, that means I'm at a lower number than their weight. So I just like to move it around slowly to get to a number where it's uh, approximately in the middle. So. We can say for this pa for this patient it's about 139. So I'll write down the weight 139 onto the chart.